Jessica here and I am back with some new tech tips for this week. A question I get asked a lot is how do you make those pretty pop-ups on your website? How do you make WordPress have pop-ups that are so pretty because all the ones I'm finding are ugly? And I get it. I went on the search for a long time myself, but my favorite plugin in the world is called Pop-Up Ally. It is part of the Ambition Ally line from Natalie Lussier and it is legit amazing. They have templates in there, you can create your own, you can use your own colors and fonts and duplicate and import and export and all the things. It is seriously one of the best things I've ever used. So I wanted to take a few minutes and run you through how I use Pop-Up Ally and how you can too. This is exactly what Pop-Up Ally will look like when you open it in your WordPress dashboard. So essentially each one of these little blocks is a different pop-up. You can copy them and duplicate them and all the things, um, but each one is a different pop-up. So all of these little things over here, when you click them, they apply to each one. So right now I'm on display settings. So if I open this one, it's gonna open the display settings for that pop-up. Same thing with this one. If I switch to style settings, then when I do the toggle down um, arrow, it'll show the style settings for each one. Um, the statistics, you can go here and see the conversion rate for each one of these um, to see if you know maybe one's working better than another one or um, you know, and what's different so that you can change it, which is really cool. So, and then there might be different reasons why different ones have a lower conversion rate. So, um, this one doesn't have a conversion rate at all because I'm not even got it anywhere right now. So, you know, you can sort of evaluate that there, but it's really nice to see. Um, and then you can also see the number of views and, um, you know, all of that. So if I click here, um, if I click here, you can see sort of where the clicks are coming in and all of that. Okay. So then if I do a B split test, you can create new pop-ups. So essentially like if you did see that one pop-up was doing better than another pop-up and the difference was, you know, the image in the background or the difference was the color of the button or whatever, um, you could create a split test so that basically Pop-Up Ally will show one pop-up to one person who clicks that button to see it or and then another pop-up to another person. So let's say you had an exit intent pop-up, which is where when someone goes to leave your website, it pops up. Then um, you could have a split test here, create two different pop-ups inside that split test and that's what you basically test to see which one works better. So you can come in here and see which one is getting the most conversions, which means that's the one you probably want to use. Um, if you go here, you can copy and delete pop-ups. So if you're selected on that, you can just decide which one you want to do. If you want to copy a pop-up, which we do a lot because a lot of our pop-ups have the same background and overall design, uh, we just change out the convert kit sequence it links to. You just click that and then name the new one and hit save changes and it'll populate down here. Now, there are a few things you need to uh, watch for when copying a pop-up, but I will talk about that next time I talk about pop-up ally when I show you how to make an actual pop-up. So advanced settings, this is just a lot of, you know, how many times should this load, how many times should, um, you know, a post load to prevent it from timing out, um, and like putting important next to your styling. So really most of this needs to stay the same. Import export. This works really well if you are either changing websites or something of that nature. You can export any of your pop-ups and then import them in the same place. So toolkit, basically this is just technically like a sales page for all of the other Ambition Ally products. So they're just showing you what 
you can do with each of these. Um, and then your license, you can put in your serial key there and your registered email address. So basically any time you make any changes to anything in here, you just do it and then hit save changes and it saves. Now in the next video I do for Pop-Up Ally, I'm going to show you guys how, basically how I create one. Um, and I'm also going to show you right now what an exit intent pop-up looks like, which is probably not going to do it. But basically when someone goes to this bar here to exit, then they get a pop-up. This is, wait, you forgot to grab this really awesome thing. Now, one thing that you you know might want to see here is that I link a lot of my pop-up boxes to buttons on my site. So this is a button. So when I click it, they will see this. Um, so they'll just put in their name, their email, and they'll be able to click get it now to get the, um, the freebie. So you can sort of play around with the way pop-up ally works, but this is just sort of a general overview and that is kind of what it looks like. And you can make it look however you want. We have tons of different, um, options inside of the plugin itself. So stay tuned. I'm going to teach you how to actually make a pop-up in next week's post. And so you can get started with pop-up ally for yourself. Mm -hmm.